batteries, starting and charging systems. Part 2, Basic Electrical Troubleshooting. Before electronic systems became common on automobiles, a car's electrical system did little more than power the ignition system, crank the engine, and power the lighting system. Electrical faults were generally easily diagnosed and repaired. Today, servicing a vehicle's electrical system requires special equipment, training, and the ability to follow step-by-step -step diagnostic procedures. The introduction of solid-state electronic components would seem to have made the auto technician's job more difficult, but the availability of special tools and test equipment has removed much of the trial and error that once was common in automotive troubleshooting. In this program, you'll look at the most basic electrical testing device, the digital multimeter. You'll examine the different scales of electrical measurement, and you'll see some common electrical faults. Before we begin, let's take a moment to review how to work safely with batteries, starting, and charging systems. Always wear safety glasses in the automotive shop. Be sure to remove all jewelry before beginning work. Avoid wearing loose clothing. Tie back long hair and stay clear of moving parts such as belts or pulleys. Handle heavy electrical components such as batteries, alternators and cranking motors with care. When moving a battery, always wear heavy duty rubber gloves to prevent exposure to dangerous battery acid. Know the locations of the first aid and eyewash stations in your facility. Also remember that in an unfused circuit with a short to ground, you should always disconnect the battery before troubleshooting. You should never attempt to recreate a short circuit by using a jumper across a blown fuse. The fuse is designed to protect the circuit. And engine components can be very hot, so you need to work carefully around them.